Hi guys, um, my name is Maddie, and I'm trying as I go, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, this is my five month update for um, Pan That Palette. Um, if you're not aware, um, Pan That Palette is someone trying to pan a palette in a year. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, it was started by Amber F. And if you want to go check out our channel, um, just search in your search bar, Amber F. Um, she's done the Naked palette and the Lorac Pro and I think um, another palette, another big neutral palette. Um, and I think now she's doing um, kind of weird pound that palette thing where she's um, she's got like five palettes that she's trying to get three pans in each and she's rolling throughout. It's not like not the same thing, but she's she's a mover and groover when it comes to killing eyeshadow palettes. Um she does it like it's her job. Anywho, this is a project. Oh, I am doing this sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to brain today and it's Sunday. And my brain is just like, oh, okay, let's be off today. Um Anywho, so I'm doing this in conjunction with Pantastic Ladies. They're a Facebook group on Facebook. Um, panning group on Facebook, sorry. And they're, of course, a Facebook group on Facebook, obviously. Um, they're a group of ladies that like to pan and like to share panning moments with people and projects. Um, so if you want to join, just go into Facebook. Um, and search Pantastic Ladies in your search bar area and um, they'll ask you a couple of questions to make sure you're not a robot um, rabid Mary Kay or Avon sales lady or somebody's weird ex-boyfriend um, so yeah um, join if you want to um, the theme is size matters so it could be something that doesn't fit in your collection something that's got big bulky packaging, big um, eyeshadow palette pans, um, something that just doesn't fit in your packaging, your um, collection, basically. Um, I think you can probably do it with small um, ones, but I know we did tiny pans last year, and like if you missed out on tiny pants last year you could probably do like a tiny palette this year I don't know what I'm doing with my hair I'm just gonna look weird okay anywho so I've been doing Smashbox on the rocks palette this has been a Christmas delete release uh, seven or eight years back um, I am not fancy so I don't have pictures to show you but um, I guess I'll get into it. Um, it opens up like this, and I think it came out last time. Okay, so as of last time, we had a spoiler surprise. We had pan on this cream shadow right here, and I have it. I have it hit pan on it, and I moved over here to work on this white shadow that's got a nice little dip. In it and I'm working to hit pan on that and yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do after I hit pan on that probably go back to the cream shadow finish up um I was also working on this shadow right here and I wanted to hit pan on it and I've been using this as my um eyebrow thing to fill in my eyebrow um I don't know if you can there we go Okay, I had pan on that this month. Um, it's very deep. It's a deep pan. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a little little guy. Because I've been just using it for um, my eyebrows. So when I hit pan on that, I was really excited. And I decided, hey, let's move over here. Let me just blind you here. To, there we go. Um, this color. 
That's what I'm doing in my brows right now. It's okay. I don't know how in love with it I am. But um, it's something. Um, yeah. I'm still working on this shadow for my crease. Um, it's got a nice... <laughs> there we go. It's got a nice dip in it. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to blind you. It's got a nice dip into it, but I'm not for sure. <sighs> How I feel about it, you know? Oh, well, maybe. Because I'm debating after I finish, get a dip in this one, I'm going to move over here to this one that I'm currently using as my eyebrows. And I'm going to use this as my crease. And then use this one for my eyebrows. But, I'm kind of thinking, moving over here, just because I'm kind of bored with this one, this crease. So I might just move over here and use this as my crease area because it does have um, some movement on it and I might just do that um, my outer corner color is this guy this magenta -y color um, it, get, it has a little bit of a dip but not so much I don't know maybe I could use a different color maybe this deepy plummy color or this gray color I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about it. Yeah, I might do that. So yeah, um, I have two pans on it, which is more than I would have had if I have not used this pan palette. Um, yeah. So I'm excited about that. Um, I think my overall goal for this palette is just to see how many pans I can get. Um, I should probably start using these like lid colors that would be smart but yeah um so i'm thinking about taking a break on this one for the crease color and moving over to this crease color and then working on this one for my brows or since i'm a weird shut-in um i will use this as my crease and use either this one or that one or that one or kind of figure out which one is good as eyebrow colors I don't know a purple with blood me I have pretty dark eyebrows but like they're sparse so maybe try the try that one once and see how that goes I don't know <sighs> maybe terrible um, I still have hard print on this one because I have not gotten around to using my little spoolie or a um, piece of tape to get that hard print out. So there's hard print still there. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Alrighty. But yeah, those are my goals. Well, I should probably make goals. Um, maybe the hip pan on this white shadow. And let's see if I can use this as my crease. All right, that's what I got. Um, again, a little bit of a later gator. Normally this should be up at the first of the month, but I'm a little later gator. So that's what happens. All righty. Bye, guys.